Hey you guys, just let your light shine. I'm here doing another walk around because it seems like a lot of you guys like to see what's going on in Henderson. So I am right next to the DMV. I see it right across the street. Um, Stephanie and American Pacific are the streets I'm looking at right now and I'm at the Cornerstone uh, Shopping Center. So I'm going to show you what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so the street that you see right now that I'm, this one right here is Stephanie and that street light going up this way is American Pacific. So yeah, this is the DMV that I went to. Please do make an appointment. Uh, as you can see, there's a line of people already. Holy moly. Anyway, make an appointment because we did and we only had to wait 20 minutes when our, our number got called, but then one time my husband had to go in uh, an impromptu get um, his driver's license and he had a job he was doing they needed it by Monday and it was and, and the appointment was gonna be after Monday so he went in without an appointment he had to wait five hours so by all means do an appointment okay so this is what I'm seeing here I don't know that Mexican grill I'm not familiar with that but I am familiar with the subway and then Papa Murphy's I've never heard of that one before but apparently it's like a take and bake or something And then of course the El Pollo Loco. I'm familiar with that one. And there's a Panda Express over there. All right, now I'm walking a little bit more this way. I think the Panda Express ends this parking lot. So across the street, you have a Goodwill and a Firestone. Both are also familiar in the California area. And a Shell station across the street. There's more shopping centers across the way as well. Okay, so that, and of course, what takes up most of this parking lot is the neighborhood Walmart. So there you go. I'm gonna walk more over there and show you, I believe there's some kind of uh, dollar storage unit over there. All right, so I was at the Firestone, now there's the Shell, and then here's some other stuff across the way. None of, the, uh, none of these places I, well, they're also Las Vegas names, so obviously I would not know them from California. Okay. Now, when I moved to Nevada, California did not have this at their Walmarts yet. So I'm curious if the online grocery pickup is now in California. So you can order your groceries online. You still have to drive up to pick it up though, but you don't have to do the shopping. They do it for you. Okay, so they do have a pharmacy pickup here at this Walmart as well. So you can see that. So now I'm on the complete other side of where it was. This building looks like it is available for something. Across the way, some apartments. And there's the dollar self-storage. And then also I saw like a donation drop off, like right there in the parking lot. So I'm gonna try to zoom in for you right there. Okay. And then behind us over here is also a housing track. All right, just like the geocacher that I am, I'm going to venture over and beyond to see what's going on over on this side tracks man no geocache unfortunately though because uh, there's one on the other side the other shopping center that I was at I'm gonna go check that out one day just not today let's go see what this is all about and speaking of being on the other side of the tracks here you go a train track not a busy one though I'm just gonna show you the views very pretty up here. Three sixty views of mountains. And the nice thing is they're not built up, so they're just mountains with nothing. And I hope it stays that way. Because of where I lived, I had a view of Anaheim Hills. And all you could see is just a bunch of houses on the hill, which is fine I guess, but but when you're in Anaheim Hills overlooking your Belinda, 
it was less built up on the hills. So I thought it was prettier from that view. So there you go, 360. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. I am sweating profusely. It's not as bad as usual, and it's, but it's a little bit humid today, so it makes it worse, because when it's dry heat, I'm not a sweaty Betty, but it's kind of a little bit of humidity right now. Anyway, um, there you go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll try to do some more of these walk-arounds or drive-arounds or whatever about Henderson. Talk to you later.